welcome to the progressive astrology channel in this presentation i wanted to show you how to work with ephemeris software ephemeris software now what is ephemeris let me first show you the website ephemeris software is available for iphones iMacs, Macs, really, it's an Apple based software system which can help you plot Western style astrological chart but using Vedic technology. Okay, I find this to be the most accurate if you want, if Western astrologers out there want to shift and find out the difference between Vedic and Western. Okay, I'll show you how to do the setting for this because it took quite a lot for me to match the Indian software in terms of accuracy of ascendant, accuracy of planets, etc. So let's get right into it. So iFemeris, once you have downloaded the software, either from their website over here or from the Mac store, you get also in the Mac stores, as you can see. I use this version, it gets updated. From time, from time to time, 3.11.2 is what I use. Oops, so if I see uh, Ephemeris, about Ephemeris, I use that version, okay? 3.11.2, which is the same as over there. And then I do the settings. How to set it Vedic style with accuracy. This is the most critical thing and there's nothing out there on the internet, trust me. I have done plenty of research. So you go to ephemeris and set it to side real time. You can see here side real time, not tropical. Tropical becomes placidus. We are setting to Vedic style. And there are many ayanamshas available. I don't want to get into the detail of that. I use Krishnamurti. Most people use Lahiri. Both are accurate. Just the degree of variation is in minutes. Really doesn't matter much. So first thing you do is set to Krishnamurti. Okay. Next, you go to your Ayanamsha and then set it to 0 0.0390. You set this setting to 0 0.0390. Come back to Krishnamurti. Okay. And rest of the settings, you can do whatever you like. That doesn't affect the chart. That's first part. The next part, before you start plotting your charts, come to this setting, chart styles. Go to chart defaults. Make it Vedic here, not Western Tropical or Equal or Placidus or Coach or any one of those systems. Just make it Vedic over here. That's the second step. I use modern dignitaries, not traditional. Chart wheels types. You can set this however you want. The other ones. All the other settings are up to you really. Okay, astrologers, please take note. Deacons, we don't use deacons, so I have put it no. You can also use deacons if you are... So inclined, there's nothing wrong with that, that particular technology. It just doesn't help me too much in the way of finding out what is useful information. Remember, I'm just taking here what is serves my purposes of reading the chart, which gives me more accuracy and only the information which I require. Show nakshatra should be set to yes, obviously, because we are dealing with Vedic, all the 27 lunar mansions come into the picture. And style here, you put it as Krishnamurti. Not your Ayanamsha, put it to Krishnamurti. Okay? All these makes a huge difference in the angles and the degrees. This is not said anywhere in Ephemeris how to set it to Vedic properly. They talked a lot about Western Placidus and Coach and other systems, but not Vedic astrology. And I couldn't find even any other YouTube channel. That's the reason why I'm making for all you guys. So just say show nakshatra yes, set it to yes, and style is by Krishnamurti. Okay. Once you're done this, and let's say sky now, if you see the right now, the sky, the ascendant is offset by 15 degrees, as you can see. If in Western Placid ascendant would have come there, right there. Now it's about 15 degrees into it. This AS is the ascendant. Okay. And that angle and that minute, if you plot it anywhere using any of the traditional Vedic style like Parashara Light and so on and so forth, there are lots of softwares. Parashara Light is by GeoVision software. So those ones will give you the same angles. But now in Ephemeris, using the circular Western style plot. Now I, this is how I combine Western and Vedic. The reason why I use Ephemeris, it's very easy to find out the outer planet transition and what is currently going through in terms of squares and trines and opposition and all this. 
This I have marked it to 2 degrees, by the way. The orb I use is 2 degrees, very high accuracy. So, we see here, for example, the next upcoming uh, new moon is in Shavana Nakshatra. Now, how is this? Okay, let me just briefly explain this, this circle, this chart, right? I use blue signs for water, red signs for fire green signs for air and brown signs obviously for the earth. The 1 to 12 houses are shown over here and then ascendant is over here. You can also do ICMC and descendant if you are a western astrologer. The idea of using this Vedic style is to get the accurate accuracy of the angles and the plot itself. You can still use the trine and square and all this Ptolemic style of calculating who is opposing what and all that also you might find some accuracy there it's all about accuracy folks it's nothing else nothing for or against one system or the other whatever works for you but if you take the new moon here it becomes in Shavana Nakshatra which is in Capricorn but if you take in the western astrology style which people are putting it out there, they are saying it is new moon in Aquarius because it shifts. Why? The ascendant has shifted. Okay? That's how it differs. All your predictions might differ. So, the inner ring, the outer ring shows the zodiac signs. Okay? The inner ring you see there, which I am pointing to right now with my mouse, is where you see the nakshatra starting from Ashwini, Bharani, Kritika, Rohini, Mrikshira, Ardra, etc. going all the way up till Revati. The last one, la the 27th nakshatra. You see the tw number 27 is the 27th nakshatra over there. Okay. So that's what we see. And Ashwini is number 1, Parani is number 2, Kritika is number 3, Rohini is number 4. And it goes on and on. Right? That's how you plot the Vedic style. You get the nakshatra and you get the zodiac all correctly aligned. Very important. All correctly aligned to angles right up to degrees and minutes. If you plot it Krishnamurti style in any other software, free software or software which you have bought, which is traditionally Indian, it will match this system in Ephemeris. If you plot it with the settings which I have just done. So use this, you will get all your reading much better form and shape. Okay. So I'll leave you with this much for now and I'll catch you on the other side with some other good stuff. Take care, be safe and have a nice day.